say it once then. For all time's sake. Also known as the black harvester ant, Veromesser pergandi is my second harvester ant species I have kept so far. If you've never heard of this species, they're almost exactly like Messer, but are found in the US. I've been saving this colony for a moving video, but that didn't go through as they haven't gotten more than 20 workers or so. When they ran out of water, they were maybe at 10 workers, so that was when I attached a fresh test tube to their current one. As the days passed by, they just put dirt in there until I decided to move them myself. And this is where we're at the part of our video. If you've seen my previous cubes and tube setups, you know I always add some kind of decoration. And of course, their container was going to be a desert themed setup, as this is the environment that they are usually found in. After adding two rocks, it was time to add some dried up plants. I didn't want to crowd up their setup too much, or else it would be too difficult to add in food or additional test tubes. Since their test tube couldn't fit in the container, I had to move them out with a q-tip. Once it was finished, it was time for the most anticipating moment, which is moving the entire colony. Like I said earlier, this will be done using a q-tip and dropping the workers in. Luckily this species can't climb acrylic well, so I'm able to leave the lid off during this entire process.
queen was the most difficult to move and also took the longest to get off the q-tip. Before I moved out the workers, I made sure all of the brood were placed on a piece of paper so I can easily slide it into the container. With them now moved in, I can finally feed them some honey. And sunflower seeds. Speaking of sunflower seeds, if anyone has any recommendations on what seeds this species likes to eat, or any food preferences, please leave them in the comments. I also fed them some crushed up almonds and I think they like those. Hopefully they're getting more accustomed to their new habitat and a makeshift home. And I'm not sure if I want to keep on watering their nest as this made them start digging tunnels. I'm sorry. I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone. 
In the next few days, I also acquired some fruit flies, so that this colony can get some more protein. I also fed my other colonies, but they'll be featured in a different video. I had to injure these ones specifically, because the workers could never catch them, as they were always jumping around. What I noticed about this species is that they never went for the live ones, but would rather go for the ones that were already injured. And when the workers brought them back into the test tube, even the queen joined in. These fruit flies should provide a lot of protein, so that the larva can develop very quickly, and also the queen can get additional protein to lay more eggs. Making these setups are all around really fun to make, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're nearing 2,000 subscribers guys, so if you're new here, subscribe! As always, my name is Enderance, another fellow ant YouTuber, and I'll see you later.